happening on the TV? Better than cartoons. Oh, bam, bam. Come on. Are you on there? There he goes. There he goes. Fish on. Fish on. Got him on the live one. Come on, let's see the screen, baby. What is it? What is it? What is it? Do you like that sound or what? <laughs> you say it might be a who? You mean a wahoo? Wah! This is addictive fishing. For the next 30 minutes, you'll see why fishing is so addictive. Uh oh. We'll show you the most awesome rod bend and drag scream that sounds like something big. So hang on to your seats for this week's journey on addictive fishing. Oh, check him out. Look at these little dolphin. There he comes. Boom, little dolphin. <laughs> That's a pretty cool one, huh? See if we can get him turned on and show him to you. Oh, look at that beautiful fish. It's just a little guy, we'll get him up. Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. I'm your host, Captain Blair Wiggins, and we're off in North Florida today. We're with Captain Leo Collins. We're gonna be catching all sorts of stuff today out here. Y'all stay tuned to this episode. These things are wild. Feel kind of tiny out here amongst these big old boats, Leo. Yeah, but you know, we only need to take up a little bit of water. And my dad always thought I was kind of crazy taking the boat way out, being such a little boat, and I always told him, oh, well, you know, whether it's two feet or 2,000 feet, I only use the top 12 inches. Nice school of bait up here, Leo. Check them out. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what we need. And that's all Speedos, huh? Well, some of them are Speedos, some of them are cigar minnows, some of them are herring. And the kings will work the outside edge of them, typically, picking off the, the slow ones. Well, let's see if we can get a few to pick off these slow guys. I hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right there, brother. There he is. <laughs> the gag's got him. Little guy. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever done this. Like uh, Camera George said, you just can't get away from flats fishing style. You know, sight fishing them. Oh, I love it. These things turn the most brilliant color, I swear. All right, let's get this guy in and we'll catch a few more. Nothing like catching a bunch of fish. We are up in Destin, or off of Destin today. Where we, ah, good, West Palmer Lease. Ooh, ooh, live bait rod, live bait rod. There's the big one, live bait one. Get him, baby. Uh-oh. That feels like something big. <laughs> it feels like something real nice, Leo. Good deal, man. We can make a run like a king. It ain't running Could be like a nice dolphin. Come up to say hello, though. He's way down. I see some color down there. That's him. How tight your drag. I don't know what it is, but I see some color down there. It looks like a nice fish. He ain't swimming too good. I'll tangle that one. Oh, a nice dolphin, I think. No, it's a tail wrap remora. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about a weird looking fish. <laughs> These guys, he's all wrapped up. Pliers. In your back pocket. Did I have my back pocket? No, you Yeah, scissors dolphin all over the place. Uh oh, he's tangled up on something. Oh, he's stuck. He stuck himself to the hatch. <laughs> he unstuck himself. That's why they use the top of his head, and they, that's how they stick to other fish. They're, they're a parasite fish. What family of fish are these things in, Leo? Any idea? I don't have a clue. I wouldn't even venture a guess. The ones you don't like to catch. Whoa, check out his head. That is a weird looking little head. Look at that. 
weird looking. Say, so see ya. Yeah, not a target species, but hey, it's a fish. Let's see if we can get him underneath this. There he is. There he is. Triple tail. Gotta be. He was hanging underneath there. Hopefully, it's not one of those chubs. Yeah, it is a little triple tail. Ugh, otherwise known as the East Coast Oscar. <laughs> You ever eaten these? Let me come down here. We did a good little sandwich. Look at that triple tail. Yeah, we get these guys up on the Space Coast. They get up to 30, 40 pounds up there. They're giant. There we go. This is just like a wonderful table fair size right here. There we go. You can slip it. Why don't you slip him right there in the ice box? <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more addicted fishing. I bet it's hot. I bet he's, yep, got it warmed up a little bit. Come on, little dude, get eaten. Oh, bam, bam, come on. Are you on there? Are you on? Gotta love it when it's this easy. <laughs> Don't you wish fishing was always this easy? Oh, huh? man. Everybody'd be a guy then. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. Well, we changed positions now. We're way out. I'd say, what are we, 20 miles out? About 22 miles from the beach. About 22 miles from the beach, and we're on a snapper hole. So while well, Leo's getting rigged up, we're going to take this little seagull minnow. Flip him out and see what we can get. There he goes, there he goes. Fish on, fish on. Got him on the live one. Come on, let's see the screen, baby. What is it, what is it, what is it? Do you like that sound or what? <laughs> Use it to my ears. I bet it's hot. I bet he's, yep, got it warmed up a little bit. Still trying to get a snapper bait down. Seems like, oh, we're getting kings. It's not a bad thing, though, is it? Nah, it's a good thing. <laughs> I think we can get him up. You ready to get him? I believe so, sir. <laughs> See him up there on the deck, front deck. There we go. Got him. I got him. Do a tube shot with him? Yeah, just slide him back in. Where we go? Hold on. Kingfish. I rinse off, but look at them teeth. Ooh, nasty. Get on out of here. And nice there fishing, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. We're going to get you one of these beautiful little red snappers down here in a minute. All the way down. That's a long way down. How deep are we? All the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. About 100, 110 feet. 110 feet. There he is. Come on, Mr. Snapper. So most of these all just reds around here? There's some blacks mixed in with it too, but with these big baits, we'll probably be catching red snapper. Black snapper or black grouper? Black snapper. Never seen them. Never, ever seen them. Look like a mangrove snapper on steroids. <laughs> here, I can get him straight on up. <sighs> Look at that red snapper. What a beautiful fish. You wonder why they call red snapper, huh? Why do they call them red snapper? They got a circle hook, came right out, right in the corner. Illusion of age me. Now that is some fine eats to go right along with that triple tail. Woo! That's a pretty fish. How big are the gun turns that are down here? The big ones or? The relief off the bottom seems to be about eight to 10 feet. Seem to be about 20 feet wide. 20 feet wide? Yeah, they're not huge objects. Yeah. But the fish will congregate to them because it's the only thing for them to hide in around here. I'm gonna try and hold you in place just a little bit, Blair. Boom! There he is. 
That thing just did hit the bottom. That one feels even better. They all feel good. You get any grouper around here? We do, typically it's a little bit further out. Further out. Well, we don't need to venture too much further out on this flat skiff. Nah, not today. We're 20 miles out in it right now. It's fun, but I don't recommend it to too many people. It's, it's safe to do, you just gotta watch the weather. Make sure you got good weather. But Leo, he called me up the other day and he said, Blur, I'm on the snapper thick like crazy. And as you see, we are catching them left and right. Like they're going out of style. What's the, uh, what's your, what do you get for limits on snapper now up here? Yeah, the snapper, they gotta be 16 inches long and you're allowed four per person. Those things are gorgeous. Now what, what gives them the pink color, the orange color like that? I'm, I've been so used to inshore fishing my whole life and I never really come out and do stuff like this, but. Uh, Some people say it's what they feed on. Yeah. Uh, crustaceans. Um, other people say that it's just because that's the natural color God gave them. But they are a gorgeous animal. That is gorgeous. Don't get much prettier than that, and they do have some teeth too. Yeah, their gill their gill plates are incredibly sharp too. Yeah, kind of like a kind of like a snook. I'm used to those. You see where my thumb kind of holding down, but that's exactly what you got to do. But no doubt, that is one of the most beautiful fish I've ever caught in my life. Now stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There he is. Ooh. About pulled me in. You see that? Combination of wave and a fish. So what are you hanging this ranger? That's a good little bay boat. Good little bay boat. <laughs> it's handling it pretty good even 20 miles out. I like taking small boats out. Keeps things interesting. Keeps you on your toes anyway. Yeah. If your fish finder's anything like near accurate, yeah. it's a herd. Well, what do you tell me is down here on the bottom? Leah, you said there's a bunch of uh, gun turrets? What is it, big Navy or? Big tank turrets provided to you courtesy of your U.S. government. U.S. government. <laughs> well, thank you, Uncle Sam. Uh, Uncle Sam, we appreciate it. Finally, a good use for tank turrets. Was well, it something that the CCA did? Because I know they've dropped balls out of here on, the, on this part of the Gulf. No, this was actually provided by uh, the government and the city of Valparaiso did some of this stuff. City of where? Valparaiso. Where is that? About 12 miles north of Destin. Being from Florida, you know, I thought you'd hear of all the, all the towns with weird names. I wouldn't say it's a weird name, but it is a strange name. There's unusual. Of, there's another one up there called Niceville. 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 Well, I've heard of Niceville. Oh, they, got, they got both kinds of music there, huh? Country, Country and, and Western. Western. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> come on, dude. Felt him get a little nervous down there. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. There he is. About pulled me in, you see that? Combination of wave and a fish. Come on, baby. Uh, anybody can come do this. This is as simple as fishing gets. Especially catching nice fish. I mean, good eating fish, a targeted fish that everybody eats. You know? There you go. Oh, red snapper. He's a little guy. Yeah, we'll let him go back. Let's go get some of the bigger ones. See you, Bubba. There he goes, just as quick as he came up. Right back down. See our marker out there, we use the Garmin here to find the bottom, the structure that the fish are hanging on. Mark it, drift back over it each time, each time just drift, keep drifting back over it. Got a good show on the bottom, bunches of fishes. It's going down. Sending her down. Surprised we hadn't run any more kingfish. That's all right, I'd rather catch red snapper. They eat better. There he is, right there. <laughs> Look at him on TV, then send the bait down to him. Oh, this one might have a little size to him. That Power Pro sounds like sewing thread. I say it almost every show. But it's, or I know I say it every show. It's got the weirdest sound. If you've never fished with it before, it, it takes a little bit to get used to. But there's a little color way down there. Ah, oh, he comes up quick. And it's a nice red. <laughs> Just step back. I, I... Oh, look, he's sticking his tongue out. 
See, that's his air bladder. Nice little red snapper. Look at him. We're going to let him go and let him get up to be about a 35 or 40 pound Mogan. Said we don't get the Mogans around here too much. You got to go way out for those, Leo? Yeah, it takes about another 20 miles of travel. Aren't they beautiful, though? Whew. Well, let's say bye to you. See you, dude. That's a nice one. Well, Leo, I think one more and we'll, uh, we'll call her a day. You can do that. Wore out catching all these snapper. It's not a bad thing either. Well, before I drop another one down to the bottom and catch another snapper, I want to show you all what we're using today. We're using a little cigar menace. Neat little bait. Leo got them this morning up on the bank. A guy up there sells them and uh, $25 a scoop and you get all the bait you need. Got a little number four eagle claw circle hook. Got it snelled on there, so each time when you hook the fish, you're gonna catch him right in the corner. Every time, check out the fish that are either in the top of the lip or in the corner of the mouth. Got it rigged with some 50 pound leader, a little bit of swivel, and about a four ounce lead, 20 pound power pro, then we're number 20 Ahab, and we're slaying some fish. And uh, that's the bait check. That's all we've been using today. Caught them little dolphin on the little tiny gags, the three inch mambo this morning, but the snappers was the targeted species, and that's what they've been eating. But that's your bait check for today. Now go catch a fish. Stuff's happening on the TV. Better than cartoons. Any little thing floating, just like on the Atlantic coast where I'm used to fishing, uh, anything floating's a haven for fish, right? Oh yeah, it's like this triple tail this morning hanging under the tarp, and the grasses will hold a lot of baby dolphin, and. Well, you got a lot of little, in the sargasm, when you got a bunch of little file fish and a bunch of baby triple tail, so then you get the little baby sailfish in there. and Little seahorses? Yeah. To find the big sow snappers, it's still about another 20 miles out. So a good 40 mile run out for the big beefies, huh? Yeah, for the monsters. The Mogans. Mogans they are. Yeah. <laughs> we got a forum on our website where people come and talk to each other and stuff, and they've, I've said Mogan so many times on the show, they've, got a little game going on, so everybody, this is for y'all. Mogan, 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 Mogan. He's swimming up. Oh, it feels like another red snapper. I just love red snapper. Well, how do these tables fare compared to dock snapper? <laughs> red snapper, I mean. Mangrove snapper. There he is. Coming up. Pretty fish, pretty fish. All about the same. Looks like they come out of the same cookie cutter. Uh, look how good that, that side of that filet would sit on a sandwich. <laughs> Man, what a pretty fish. Well, we'll see you, dude. Grow up and be a mugging. Say adios. I see, yep, that does feel like a nice one there, Leo. Come on, baby. Looks like a nice one, too. There's some color. Oh, there he is. Yes, sir. These are some gorgeous fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Whew. Aren't y'all glad you stuck around to see that? That is just pretty. See ya. There he is. That's how you do it. Don't set that hook. It's a circle hook, Blair. Been trying to pull some hooks on a few of them. <laughs> Easy to do with no stretch line. Uh, well, there's that lovely color down there, Leo. Pretty pink, pretty pink. Pretty pink color. Ooh, that's a nice fish, yeah. yeah sure is. A nice one. A nice snapper. There we go. <sighs> Unbelievable how easy this red snapper fishing is. <sighs> Pretty. He's a little guy. We can toss him back in there. He needs to go home. Then send him on his way. Leo, what a day. He said there was snapper here when he told me that on the phone a couple weeks ago, and sure enough, we tore him up. 
we definitely tore him up. Y'all ever want to give this a shot? Here's his number right here. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. And uh, we'll see you next week. I'll tell you what, look at these Cape Fears. Oh, here he comes. He's going to jump right in the boat. <laughs> 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 he wanted to come in here with us.